Now guys, I don't know who's going to relate to this video, but um, I just don't really want to see any messages from people being like, oh, who are you talking about? Who is they? Who is they? Well, if you don't know who they is, then you probably cannot relate to this message because this is going to go for many people out there, and I know a lot of you will relate to this message. But it, it's these types of people, man, that I'm telling you. You're doing your thing, right? You're doing your thing. And these people are watching your every move. They're watching everything you do. It's almost like they know everywhere you go because they heard it from somebody and somebody and somebody and so forth. It's like they know everything about you, but you know nothing about them. You don't hear nothing about them, but it's like everybody around you knows knows your next move, knows what you're doing. And that's why it's important to stay low-key in this world as much as you possibly can. I don't even tell family or anybody a lot of the things that I do. Because I like to stay low-key. I don't like everybody knowing what I'm doing because people like to get these ideas and then start to put things out there that, that aren't even true. And it's just a hindrance. I just don't like people. I do not like a lot of people. I like select people. I like people who are busy. That's, that's honestly who I like. I like people who are busy because busy people don't have time for drama. Busy people are hard-working, blue-collar people. One way or the other, they're working hard towards something. And they are the most trustworthy. And there's probably untrustworthy people in the world that are, that are busy people. But I, I believe the better people in the world are more busy. I just believe that. It, it's, it's from my own experience. It's from what I've seen. It's from what I know. And it's the unbusy people. It's the people that don't get a lot going on, that have a lot of time to snoop around, to talk, to do all these things that are untrustworthy. So you gotta get yourself away from those types of people and start to get in the mesh with more busier, successful, hardworking people. They might not be success successful in the moment, but they're working hard, they're doing their thing. And success has many different meanings. It doesn't mean you're already a multimillionaire or nothing like this. It just means you are successful today. You are doing the right things today and you are on your way by putting yourself in a better position in the future. That is, that to me is being successful. That to me is success. And you might not be it in the moment, so-called, but you're on your way there. You're doing the right things. You're working hard. You're doing it right. And if you are one of those people, I guarantee you, you have all these people that I'm speaking of right now that, you know, they watch your every move. They 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 think they know everything about you. They don't, cause and they never will. But they want to believe they do. They want to believe they know who you are. They're they're watching every last damn thing you're doing. I'm telling you, they they're the most annoying people on this planet. They have so much to say, and they like you, you can't even speak about them because there's nothing to speak to them about. There's nothing to say about them at all. They are irrelevant but they have so much to say about you. And they are watching you like a hawk. They are extremely negative people. And they just never have anything good to say, really. They are spectators in this world. And, uh, you know, what can you do? This is what happens when you're chosen. This is what happens whenever you're on your path and your purpose. You will have these people in your life. If you don't have any of these people, I don't know. You could be on your way to being on the path to success. You could be on your way to being chosen. But right now, it doesn't seem like that if you, not, if you do not have any of these people. And it is not a paranoid thing. Like, some people are like, oh, he's paranoid. No. Like, you, you do not know who I am either. And you do not live my life. And you do not know what I see and what I hear and the things that go on. It is not paranoid at all. I know what is going on in my life. Are you, are you stupid? But no, you have the right to say to me, oh, I'm so paranoid and I think these things are happening when they're not. You, you, you're full of shit. You're full of shit, pal. And you don't know what you're talking about. You're probably a hater. You're probably just saying those things because you wish that, that you were in that position. When in actuality, I don't think you actually do because... Being chosen is not easy, 
and I don't 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 get me started on that either. I define chosen on this channel so many damn times it'll make your head spin. So I don't want to hear anything about oh he thinks he's chosen, he has such a big ego and all this. No. Because you don't know what chosen means to me. You you could take the, 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 the term chosen ones from somebody else and think I think of it the same way because I guarantee you I don't. I guarantee you I don't. So let that sink in before you want to start going on and be negative. You know, think twice. We're doing nothing here but spreading awareness on this channel. We're exposing the truth of what most of this world actually is. We are not beating around the bush. We do it right on this channel. And we come here to serve and protect. There's a lot of people that's being protected on this channel right now. And I just wish my younger self had the knowledge that I have today, currently. Because things would have been a lot different, a lot faster, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. I had to go through what I went through for whatever reason that was. I. I couldn't tell you exactly why, but I did, and I learned from it, and I teach about it. I level up myself, and I try to level up everybody else to the best of my ability by spreading this knowledge, spreading this awareness, and it gets out there, and it is doing some good things, obviously. It is, and you have to move a certain way in this world if you really want to win. Of course everybody wants to win. Do you not want to win? Do you not want to be happier? Do you not want to have more freedom, prosperity, abundance, and all these things that you could possibly imagine in this world? Or do you want to be locked down, limited, in this jail cell type of life, surrounded by narcs, surrounded by Jezebels, surrounded by negative people, surrounded by people who are pushing your buttons every day and making you feel emotional because they're tearing you down? Is that what you want, or do you want to win? Do you want to, do you want to call shots? Do you want to be the positive person that you should, that you know you should be? I think everybody does, right? There's a lot you have to be aware about in this world. You have to set high standards for yourself. You need strong boundaries. You need to be careful who you're, who you hang out with at all times. You're going to continue to learn about all this stuff. And even in this video that I'm teaching right now, you're, you're going to learn a lot about these types of people as well because when you are that positive person, when you do become that successful person, when you do get on the right track, there's a lot of people that's going to want what you have. There's, a, there's going to be a lot of people that are hoping and praying and wishing that they could be in the position that you're currently in right now. And that is the truth. And they're going to be watching your every move. They're going to try to study you. They're going to try to mimic you and do all these things. Because they just believe they can do everything that you can do. When, you know what, some people, it might be true. They, they might. But a lot of people, no, not a chance. They just want to think they can. Because it's their ego. But some people, you know what, it's the ones that honestly actually, that actually might be able to do what you do. They're probably the ones that are better off, that are watching you, than the ones that they know they're not on your level, deep down. They know they can't do what you do. But they watch your every move anyways. And they're just so negative towards you and everything you have to do. Everything you have to say. And they're nothing but a parasite. They're nothing but a hindrance to your life and your existence. And they want to tear you down because they don't want to see you rise. There's many types of people that are watching you for many different reasons. And this is what you need to know if you are on your path and purpose. Negative people do exist. It is what it is. They're out there. They're everywhere. And there are ways and there are even strategies to avoid these people. There are strategies to not let their negativity get to you. Do you think, do you think it's going to ruin my day if somebody on the internet says something negative about me? Absolutely not. But the closer, I will admit this, the closer somebody can get to you in real life and be negative to you, and you're forced to be around them, the more it can get to you because it's like a seed that is planted if it is around you. But the seed will die 
if it's further away from you. The closer somebody is, the more negative they are, the more it can grow inside of you, and then you can feel the effects of it, especially if you're an empath, especially if you can feel other people's emotions and all this stuff, especially, bro, especially. But if you're not an empath, negativity and stuff might not affect you because you might not be able to feel it anyways because you're not empathic. You cannot feel into emotions. You can't feel what people are doing to you. And I just don't understand how some people can't feel. It just, you know, once upon a time, you know, it makes sense in a way, I guess, because once upon a time they probably could feel and they, they felt so much pain to the point where they're numb to it and they just allow everything to, you know, it doesn't really get to them anymore because they're used to it. And the fact that they're used to it makes them a person that is more harder on you and isn't as good to you. And that's why this kind of stuff creates narcs. And they will do this to you. They will make you like this, so you had to get away from them and, your, and, and live your life. If you want to continue to live a better life and be more positive, you can't let this stuff affect you. You can't let the people who are watching you saying bad things about you affect you. You can't let any of this stuff get in your way. I don't pay attention to any of this stuff. I don't hear much stuff anymore. I just know it's out there and I stay away from it as much as possible. So. That's all I gotta say in this video. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, I got another topic to do, and then after that, I'm gonna head to the beach. This, the video after this one is gonna be posted most likely in the morning. This video is gonna be posted this evening. So, anyways.